of ourselves to be able to get the best results that we want you know in this in this business okay self development is key in our business if you're not developing yourself every single day every single time trust me you keep wondering why others are succeeding and and then you're you're not getting so much results okay all right so today we're going to be handling why network marketing why do we do why go for network marketing some people are wondering yeah they've come into the network marketing industry but they are still questioning have i made the right decision to be here have i made the right you know decision to make that payment of 49990 79990 or whatever the case may be whatever the package you came with okay so um i'm going to be breaking it down why you should why people go for network marketing why people consider network marketing why i'm in the network marketing industry the advantages of being in network marketing industry all right and then also i'm also going to touch on the reason why people fail if you know why some if you know if you know um, um and why something is wrong it means you can get the right you, you can find the right way to do it okay so knowing why people fail will help you not to do those things that they have done that have made them fail okay so my job today is to let you know why you have made the right decision to be in the network marketing industry and then most importantly to let you know let you in on some of the pitfalls why some people have failed in network marketing and what what and what you should do so that you do not fail as well okay so um if you're joining us for the first time this is perfectly for you trust me um one of the things i tell people who join us now is that you have the advantage of learning from our mistakes some of the things that we train about are things that we didn't know at the very beginning of our business if we knew them probably would have been making times two or times three our income but we already made those mistakes so that you don't have to make such mistakes okay now we're successful so that we can guide you you know through the process all right um first of all if you're just coming in please do me that favor go to your various whatsapp groups and say the super monday cell meeting has started already the number is very 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 poor we cannot have 169 people in a cell meeting like this okay it's super monday cell meeting it is not our breakout cell meeting so i expect to have a whole lot of us in this meeting all right so um i'm going to start with the meeting but as i'm starting with this meeting leaders check the participant list and question yourself do I really have a lot of people in this meeting? Do I really have a lot of my teammates in this meeting? If you're the only one who's getting all the knowledge, who's getting the strategies, who's learning, trust me, your team will continue to suffer um, and stifled growth because you're the only one who knows everything. The reason why there's you know, network marketing, um, if you're going to make money in network marketing, you cannot do it alone. You have to work with a team. So if your teammates are not being trained, they're not growing, you're going to continue to suffer and be wondering why other people are successful and you're, suff you know, you're struggling. Okay. All right. So um, first of all, let's start with why network marketing? Why go for network marketing? First of all, no boss. Okay. So. Um, for some people who are working where their bosses are very nice, they care about um, um, you, they care about your well-being and everything. I know some of you might say, mm, well, the kind of boss that I have is amazing. The boss I have is fantastic. I like my boss. My boss checks on, checks on me, you know, um, and all that and all that, some other things, extra bonuses and everything. But I need you to also know that there are more advantages to having your own you know being your own boss to having someone be your boss okay let me give you an example um the truth is this no matter how much your boss seems to take care of you they don't care about you as much as they care about the job being done that's the truth no matter how much you're nice how nice your boss is if you're not getting the job done they can replace you that's what i mean okay not like they are not nice people i mean they are very nice people who genuinely care about you and everything but if you're not getting the job done i'm sorry if someone else can fill up, fill up that space and help them cut costs help them and um, get more results they would rather go for that person than go for you am i making sense they rather go for that person but when you're on your own when you are your own boss nobody can fire you nobody can fire you right nobody can fire you, fire you okay now you plan your day your work you set your priorities you arrange everything so that everything you do gives you satisfaction from work there are some times when there are some there are some um, um things that are given to you to do at work yeah and these are not things you would want to do maybe at the time 
or, or at that time. But guess what? Because you're under someone's, or, or someone is bossing over you, you're under someone, guess what? Whether you like it or not, you just have to do it. That's the truth. You just have to do it according to them. And at the end, that may not bring satisfaction to you. But when you are your own boss, when you're, um, which network marketing gives you the opportunity to be your own boss. I mean, we're all independent business owners in this business. The only reason why we have hierarchy, you know, we have leadership here is because where there's no leadership, there's no order. But in our, even with our own leadership, nobody stifles your growth. If anybody comes to me now and says, I'm ambassador leader, I want to get my own office. I want to have, start running my own thing. I want to start running my show. I'm not going to come and stifle you. The only thing I'll do is I'll offer guidance. Okay, are you sure you're ready? Are you sure you're strong enough? Are you sure you have what it takes? Or you see material, see this, see that, see um, um, some of these things work. You know, I think I, I, for someone, if I've worked with you for a long time, I can tell you some of the, some of the um, um, habits you might need to work on. Some of it, your strength you need to, you, you know, build on your weaknesses. You need to also um, um, work on, especially if those weaknesses are working against you in the business. Okay. But I'll never come and say, no, don't do this. Blah, 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 blah. That is the advantage of network marketing. It also allows creativity. Network marketing allows creativity. There are some things I want to do in my team that Ambassador Ronke doesn't come and say to me, ah, Didi, no, don't do this, don't do that. As far as I reason with her, she sees that, oh, this makes sense. She supports me. You know, she supports me. She, when, if I call her, please come and, you know, um, stand, you know, come and be with me as I'm, as I'm exploring this creativity of mine. She's in. Okay. So that's the good thing about network marketing. But guess what? Your boss, most times doesn't allow such creativity. In fact, it's even worse when there's even a head of department. That your head of department doesn't allow you explore yourself so much because the moment you start exploring your creativity, and then you, um, um, the owner of or the or, yeah or the owner of that company starts noticing you, there's a possibility that you're going to replace that person as the head of that department. Okay, so that is one of the advantages of being in network marketing. Network marketing allows you to be the boss. Another reason why I love network marketing, another advantage of being in network marketing, for those of you who are new and wondering, have I made the right decision to be in network marketing? For those of you who are old that have forgotten the advantages of being in network marketing, I'm also here to remind you. The good thing about network marketing is there is no income cap. There is no income cap. There's no income ceiling. There's no limit to how much you can make. You're the one who can tell in this month, I want to make this amount of money. And then you work towards it. Your income depends on you and the effort you put in, you put in your work. Network marketing allows you to make as much money as you want to make. Depending, everything just depends on you. But if you're working with someone, unfortunately, there's a limit to how much you can make. Some of you who are working somewhere, probably listening to me from your office, no matter how hard, you work at your job, no matter how hard you work. Guess what? I'm sorry, you, 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 your salary is still, is still capped. Some people have complained that they work for a decade and their salary has only just been increased by maybe 100K or 200K. Some people even say that ah, they're expecting you know, increments in their salary. And at the end of the day, what do they increase it to? They just increase it by 5K or 20K. As trust me, I've heard some ridiculous things. So your income depends only on you. That's a good thing. Network marketing allows you to, you know, to make as much money as you want to make, create the lifestyle that you want. You say to, oh, you tell yourself, you know what? This year, this year, I must buy this car. Network marketing gives you that. All the years that I've told myself, you see this year, I'm going to buy this particular car. It has happened for me. It has always happened. 2018, I told myself I was going to buy, buy a car. And the exact car I wanted, I had it in picture. I was showing my picture, I mean, I was showing my teammates. I was telling, telling everybody, hold me accountable. And that was the car that I bought. So that's, 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 that's what network marketing gives you. The year that I bought my Evo, the same thing. I had it as my picture, as my um, wallpaper, everywhere. I had it everywhere in my room. I had, I had a picture of it as well in my room. And it was just a matter of time I bought the car. Network marketing allows you one of the things that Mashironka and I have always been saying was that we're going to, our 30th birthday was going to be bam. That's one of the things. We did not actually know how big it was going to be. That's the truth. We did not, we did not say, oh, this is exactly how we're going to travel. We're going to go on, on, on luxury vacation. No, we just told ourselves it was going to be a, a big, you know, a, a big, we're going to market in a big way. And my own suggestion was that we're going to do um, 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 a big birthday bash, like a big birthday party. 
Ambassador Michael said, no, she wanted a, you know, a vacation. And until we met Ambassador Michael Okola and he said, no, 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 you guys are going to make it in a big way. It has to be luxury vacation. And thankfully, we had the money to make it happen. So the Tomatin allows you to explore anything to whatever length. See the kind of office I'm in. And of course, I got this office at the age of 20, 27 going to 28. I already had my luxury office. I'm not even talking about the first office I had much, much earlier in my life. So Neto Martin allows you to live your life based on your terms. As of the time I was driving at Evo, most of my, my peers were, did not have a car, not a single car, but my Evo was my second car. So Neto Martin gives you that leverage. It gives you that opportunity. So when people begin to forget, so, you know, sometimes we need to call to mind some of these advantages so that you can take network marketing a lot serious. They say when the value of a thing is not known, abuse is inevitable, right? When you don't know the value of a thing, it's only normal that you abuse it. Network marketing gives you that um, opportunity, you know, to do anything that you want to do. Another advantage of network marketing is that you can pace yourself. What do I mean by pacing yourself? You can do the things you want to do. I, you know, not, I don't want to use the word convenience because for me, I think the word convenience is for lazy people. But I want to say, you can pace yourself. You can say, you know what, um, uh, maybe for those of you who are, who are married, your, your first time mothers, you know, Neto Martin still allows you to be making money while you're still trying to catch on with motherhood. That's the thing about Neto Martin. Unlike your job that says, you know what, after two months, you are back to work. After some, some jobs will not even give you up to two months. That's the truth. But network marketing gives you that. While you're still doing what you can, you can even be working from home for those two months and still be cashing out a lot of money in network marketing. You are creating your own business. And as you begin to work on it, build your business, you're gaining recognition. Unlike your job that no matter how hard you work, you're not being recognized for all the effort that you put in. But network marketing, you gain recognition, you advance in rank, your income is increasing, all of that happening for you. Okay? So you can work at a time determined by yourself. You can adjust your working hours to fit your, your lifestyle and your family. Whatever it is. There are some times in between work, I just disappear from work. Oh, pa, I just maybe go and cook or something in my house and I just get back. Maybe my husband just says, oh, I, I need us to see. I need us to discuss something. Pia, I've disappeared. Pia, I'm back at work. But guess what? If I was working somewhere, imagine that I was a banker. I wanted to respond to me. Would it be that easy for me to just disappear and come back? Please, I need you to answer me. I want you guys to answer me. Would it be very easy for me to just disappear if I was working in the bank? Would it be that easy for me to disappear and come back? No. <laughs> no, it's not possible at all. You can't disappear and go, come back to where? You answer query. But guess what? I go come back. I'm not, I'm not answerable. I'm answerable to no one. The highest that can happen is Ambassador Ranke says, maybe, oh, did you know we're supposed to see? I could just say, oh, sorry. Just hold on. Let me just quickly see my husband and you know, do something. And then I come back. And of course, she would understand. And then I'm back. And then we meet. No, no, no. That's the good, you know, good thing about network marketing. You can pace yourself. I don't, like I said earlier, not that you can do things anyhow. I'm that do you lack discipline no that's not what i'm saying right of course i mean look at super monday cell meeting i know so many of you right now would tell that i really miss super monday cell meeting not like i don't have any other things to do have other things i would love to do on a monday morning for crying out loud as someone who's the boss of herself i would love to sleep as long as i want to on a monday morning when other people are rushing but in network marketing we apply some of these disciplines because we know where we're going to we know what we're, you know, where we're going to. You are saving. Another thing about network marketing is that you are saving time and money. It helps you also save time and money. Some of you are in this business. You don't, you're making over 300K, 400K monthly. Some people who are making 300K as profit monthly, 500K monthly as profit. Trust me, they have offices that they, that they pay as much as maybe 800K in a year. They have to pay for life. They have to pay for so many things. But network marketing allows you some of you are operating from a cubicle space. Some of you don't even have a cubicle space. You just come into your leader's office and you're using their presentation hall. You're making your money. You're building your business. You're making your money. So network marketing gives you that as well. Okay? Another thing is security. 
one of the reasons why I love network marketing, when people are, you know, say job security, I don't know, but for some weird reason, it makes me laugh. How can you say job security when you can be fired the next moment? How do you even say job security when they find someone else who can do what you do at a lesser price, who is more, who is sharper than you are, they can lay you off. How do you even say job security? Please, where is the security there, please? There's no security as far as I'm concerned. But in network marketing, you, you're, if you're determined, you can stay as long as you want to stay and build for as long as you want to build and make as much money as you want to make. So there's security here. No dismissals, no redundancy. All right. Another one is better retirement plan. You can use this as a retirement plan. For yourself, please hope your teammates are in this meeting. A22, we still have um, 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 we still have um, 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 260 something people. Please, everybody, in the next 30 seconds, in the next 20 seconds, I want everybody to write on their various WhatsApp groups with the cell meeting link that the cell meeting has started already. Please, let's do that immediately. Write on your various super, on your various cell meeting, you know, that the Super Monday cell meeting has started already so that everybody can head over to this meeting. Please, those of you that are also posting, please help me post in beginners class two, three, and four so that everybody who I, you know, who, who are supposed to be in this meeting, they come for this meeting, okay? So network marketing also gives you the opportunity to, to create that retirement plan for yourself. I know for some of you who don't do your research about network marketing, I mean, it's sad. Some of you, the only people you know in network marketing, are uh, the highest you know, are Ambassador Michael Okoli, Ambassador Ronke, myself, Ambassador Nefo, Ambassador Elijah, all these key leaders. Some of you don't know some other people who have created such huge wealth for themselves in network marketing. Now, um, 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 there's one lady I used to admire in network marketing here in Nigeria. For some of you that might be thinking, oh, it's just, there, there, there are people making crazy money. Network marketing, that's the thing. Network marketing income is, 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 is calm. When I say calm, I mean, it's not that loud. It's, you know, it's not like politics money, where if you're making money from politics, it's loud. You're spending, you know, free, frivolously and everything. But in network marketing, our money is calm. You can even be making money. Nobody will know. You're just living life large. You're just traveling from time to time you don't in fact every you take vacation every single month nobody will know so there's one lady um, um i and, and the husband i used to admire in network marketing from my former company you know so um when i traveled to lagos that was last two years if i'm not mistaken last last two years or last three years the hotel i stayed in belonged to them and they were selling their products there not that they, no they were not selling their products there but all their um you know, like the, the sanitizer that were being used there were from the company that they, they were partnering with. And, and of course, they talked about, they had one banner that showed the company that they were partnering with and everything. All the products there from the soap, everything were from the company they were partnering with. And they said that they got the, 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 the hotel from the money they made from network marketing, right? So guess what? Even if for some weird reason, God forbid, I don't pray for that. Even if for any reason, anything happens to their company, they have created a retirement plan for themselves. For someone that owns a hotel, you can imagine other things that they own. I'm sure they own properties here and there. Network marketing has set them up for life. They cannot be broke again. So network marketing is a better retirement plan. And I'm even going to explain more concerning what, you know, what's how all of this can come about. That is why some of you who are in this business, you're still young in this business, you're even still young in age, and you're playing with this business, I laugh. Because you don't know what this business can do for you. You really do not know what this business can do for you. I told myself before my 30s, I was going to buy my property in Abuja. I told myself, I'll just, you know, and then and at, 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 around December, I had the money. But the property wasn't just coming. I was just looking, opportunity, I, you know. It's not just every property that comes, you just jump on it. Ladies and gentlemen, before my 30th, by February, I bought my own property in, the, in Abuja, here in Abuja. Around, in fact, around Gudu here. For those of you that know good, you know how expensive, you know how beautiful the houses are here. That was before my 30th. What that means is um, network marketing is already setting me, setting me up for retirement. No jokes. So what network marketing can do for you is, is trust me, I, I don't even know where to begin from. I really do not know where to begin from. What network marketing can do for you. Another one, another advantage of network marketing is low startup cost. How much is it to register in our business, please? How much is the lease package to register in our business? I want you to remind me. How much is it, the lease package to register in our business?
49,990. Can you tell me another business outside of network marketing that you can start with 49,990? Tell me another business. Let me use myself as a case study. Tell me another business I could have started with 49. What I started with was 70. 72,000 because I started with two accounts at the beginning of my business. Okay. So, um, so how, tell me how much 72,000 should be about $120. Okay. For those of you, I know Ghanaians are in the class here. Cameroonians are also in the class here. So let me use, um, 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 dollars. Okay. So what I started with about $120 thereabouts. Okay. That's for two accounts. That was what I secured it with. That was about six years ago when I started the business. Now tell me right now, I make a lot of money, money. So let's just imagine that my income, God forbid, was about a millionaire monthly. God forbid, God forbid. Tell me what business I could have started with $120 to be making, to be making, um, what's it? I want to calculate to know how many, how, um, uh, how many dollars that is. To be making, a million dollars should be um, about nearly $2,000, Abby. Nearly $2,000, nearly $2K, yeah. So tell me what business, to be making it monthly, to be making it monthly, I make way more than $2,000 monthly. God forbid I, I will be making $2,000 monthly. God forbid, it can't even happen in my business anymore. But just imagine, right, that there's a business, someone starts with seven, um, with, um, um, with about $120 and a person is earning $2K monthly. What business can that, you know, you know is, is, is it, which business, has that that um, um, advantage? Can you tell me any business? I want us to brainstorm. I mean, we're all leaders here, all the independent business owners. Some of us have tried our businesses, our hands on different businesses, okay? So you might know one or two that I'm not even aware of. Can you tell me a business? You can start with 49990 You can start with about 200 about $120 and be making in excess of um, 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 $2,000 every single month. Any response to that? absolutely no business absolutely no business so network marketing gives you that advantage you can start with as little as um, um more than twenty dollars and be making as high as ten thousand dollars be making as high as twenty as, as twenty thousand dollars that is the beauty of our business in most cases all you need to do you know or you need to start with you can get for as less as $49,990. Most businesses absorb millions of naira as initial capital. That's what happens to most businesses. They absorb as, as in as much billions of naira as initial capital. That is why we have a lot of people with good ideas, but they're not making money today because of what? Because there's no money to explore their ideas, no capital. Another advantage of network marketing is that you can keep your regular job. Yes, you can keep a regular job. That's another advantage. So we have some people in network marketing who are making as high as $5,000 monthly. And guess what? They're only doing the business part-time. Network marketing gives you that opportunity. You can be doing this business part-time. That's if you're very responsible, very, very smart, very sharp, very strategic. And you know what you want. You're very disciplined. You don't give excuses. Trust me. Even with even doing the business part time, you can be making as high as two k dollars, three k dollars, four k dollars, five k dollars part time. So as long as your extra income is high enough to replace it, okay. So you can continue to work at your job. If your if if this business starts you know, can can replace your your job, by all means, please jump at it. Jump at doing the business full time. Okay. Another one, the most exciting part of being in network marketing for me is residual income. The fact that you can work hard today, right? MLM whole business pays you in future for the work you've done in the past. The couple that I told you now own a hotel in, um, 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 I don't know how many hotels they own. Oh, so I only stayed in one of them in Lagos. So I don't know how many hotels. It might be one of their hotels. It might be one of their hotels it might just be one hotel that they own it might be three hotels i do not know but i stayed in one and it was very classy i'm not even going to lie to you it was a very classy hotel okay so um yeah and then that hotel of course now they're living life based on their terms gaining residual income from the network marketing industry of course and are still they are still making money from 
the, the, the investments that they have made from the money that they made from network marketing. When they were working hard at the beginning, inviting people, people were telling them no, rejecting them, giving them blows here and there. No, no, no. You know, nobody, nobody remembers those times. Now they're living life based on their terms. They can live any part in, in any part of the world. They can travel for as far as far as I'm concerned. I don't even think they're even in Nigeria. I don't think they're in Nigeria because I remember those days when I was still in that company, they, um, our big events, they really were there. They were really there. So I can imagine, but it's just, just like um, um, here in Nigeria, there are some big events who will do ambassador, boss Mike will be there, ambassador Ronke will be there. So for some big events we're doing, and they were the ones that brought in the company, they were, you know, sometimes they were not there. So I think they, 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 they were not living in Nigeria. So you can imagine what network marketing can do for you. It can live in any part of the world, make money from any part of the world. And all of, the, all of us were under them. All of us were under them. All of us were under them. So that's the beautiful thing about network marketing. The work you do at the very beginning is like, um, 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 you know, you're working, 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 work, 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 no money. That's the thing about network marketing. You're working so hard. Work, 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 no money. As you begin to grow your knowledge, your skill, right? At some point, it will now be work, 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 work. Then you get paid. Just get paid small. At some point, it will be work, work, work. Then you get paid, paid, paid. At some point, it will be work, work. You get paid, 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 paid. At some point, it will be work. It will be paid, paid, paid. At some point, it will not be. You will not work anything. You just be paid, 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 paid. Network marketing is it, it's crazy. It's amazing. Okay. So, but why with all these advantages, if network marketing is so fantastic, why do people fail? Why do we st still have a lot of failures in network, in network marketing? Why do we have some people who have even made some money and then tomorrow they are no longer making money? Why? Why does that happen you know, in network marketing? Why is the attrition rate a lot in network marketing? Are some of us asking this question? Are some of us also bothered by this question? Someone is asking me when it's going to be uploaded to the YouTube channel. I'm not bringing it to YouTube channel. If you're not in this meeting, you're not in this meeting. If your downlines are not in this meeting, forget it. I'm not bringing it to my YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is making people lazy. I'm sure a lot of you have this question. Why most people, why are people failing? If network marketing is so fantastic, why are people failing? Why do we have a lot of people failing in network marketing? Now let's handle them. First of all, we know that we're in a great industry. Network marketing is a fantastic industry. If there's anybody here still questioning, is this a good industry? I'm sorry, you may need to go to your leader, collect your products and quit the network marketing industry. If by this point, at this cell meeting, I expect you'd have done your quick starter guide. I expect by yourself, you'd have done some research. I also expect that by now, you should have, uh, let me, I, I'm, there's something I'm going to share before I proceed, uh, Brian, but I expect that by now you'd have done your incubation graduation. So a great deal, you should have some information about network marketing. If by now you're still thinking, oh, this network marketing, are you sure it's really a good industry? I'm sorry, something may be wrong. So, and, and one thing I tell people is if you lack belief in our business, you continue to struggle. So why struggle? Just quit it, move on with your life. Do other things that, that you can believe in. Because if you lack belief in our business, you're going to continue to struggle. So one thing you must need to work on is your belief in our business. Part of the reason why I'm super successful today is because I believe in it. I can fight anybody. I can, <laughs> I can get physical with somebody that, that tries to say anything negative about network marketing. But sometimes, you, some of you, some people are saying some negative thing about, things about network marketing and you're listening. And when you're listening, guess what it's doing to you? It's sowing some seeds in you that will even make you begin to doubt yourself, doubt your industry. All right? So yes, we're in a great industry. We're in a fantastic industry. By now, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be trying to explain to you. In fact, I've done that already. Why network marketing? I've done it already. So I, I don't think, I don't think, I don't, I don't think I should, I should continue to explain to you why network marketing is so fantastic. So, but we have high failure rates. But I tell people, just like every other industry, we have high failure, you know, other industries. Like, like, just like every other industry, we also in network marketing have, have high failure rates, right? That's the truth. Anyone can succeed, but most people won't do what it takes to achieve success. Most people will not do what it would take to achieve success. Most people won't. Some people are wondering, why do people wake up very early in the morning and they are coming for cell meeting every single morning? Why would I, I mean, like I always, like I said earlier, I'd rather be on my bed and be sleeping. But here I am with you people doing a spam on, a, on a Monday, running spam on the cell meeting. Next Monday, I'll still be here by this time, running spam on the cell meeting. 
But most people will not be disciplined like I'm disciplined. Most people will not do what I'm doing. Most people will not take that pain. The number one reason why a lot of people fail in network marketing is the wrong mindset. I hope we're taking notes. And I also take, think, hope we're taking notes to also be able to share some of these things with our teammates. Number one is what? The wrong mindset. That is why a lot of people are failing. Without a doubt, the number one reason most people or most network marketers fail is because most who join our industry are not entrepreneurs. Unfortunately, we have people who have never, ever tried their hands on entrepreneurship. So they don't even understand. They don't even understand what it takes to be an entrepreneur. Some people, their first, um, 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 first step towards becoming an entrepreneur entrepreneur was just getting into network marketing so never sold anything in their life have never tried anything buying and selling nothing like you know and nothing that involves entrepreneurship in their life nothing so yeah it was like a shocker for them for them it was like a shocker coming into the network marketing industry and the network marketing industry was just demanding a lot from them most network marketers most new sign-offs people who come into our team newly they think like on you know on employees and expect instant gratification in their business they think like employees. As an employee, so, much, so you know, you come into the you come into um, let's say the employer as a banker. At the end of the month, whether you work so well or not, you're sure of a certain salary. So they expect the same from our business. That whether you put in the work or not, that you would get some you know some some income. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. They, they already think, especially those of them that come in and they, they are working for someone, they think in terms of, you know, how employees get paid. Network marketing doesn't pay you that way. And I can give you a typical example, right? A typical example can be A and B. Let's use Mr. A and Mrs. B. Mr. A gets a job in January and Mr. A's income or salary is 120000 naira. Mrs. B starts her network marketing business in the same January. At the end of January, Mrs. B earns nothing. But at the end of January, Mrs. Mr. A earns 120,000 naira as a salary. Month two, that is February. Mr. I hope everybody's following me clear, clearly. Mr. A's salary at the end of February still remains 120,000 naira. But guess what happens to Mrs. B? Mrs. B's income can now be maybe, let's say, 40,000 naira. Right? Let's get to March. At the end of March, Mr. A's salary still remains 120,000 naira. But let's talk about Mrs. B. Mrs. B's income has now increased to maybe 110,000 naira. So Mr. Mr. A is still earning more income, right? But let's get to April. Mr. A's income or salary is still 120,000 naira. But guess what happens to Mrs. B? Mrs. B's income is now 100 and maybe 80,000 naira. You can start up network marketing business on the same day with someone who just gets their job. But guess what? It's just a matter of time. You will exceed that person in income if you're serious minded. That's one of the So you cannot come in with employee mindset. If you understand the potentials of network marketing, you cannot operate in the network marketing industry as if you're an employee. Another one is that most MLM reps dabble with their business rather than treat it seriously. They think short term. Oh, if I just make this money, jackpa, jackpa. <laughs> but some other people already know what network marketing can do for them. The growth you can create for them the lifestyle you can live for them and their family. So some people don't think long-term. They're thinking so, as in they're short, they're, in fact, they're so short-term minded. And that is why they're not successful. Natural marketing needs entrepreneurs who are willing to go the long mile. In the real world, entrepreneurs invest millions in of Naira in a business before they even get started. Some people, they want to start their hair business, for example. They want to start selling lottery hair. They've already gotten a rent. Their rent in Lekki is like five million naira for rent alone. Operational costs, we're not even talking about operational costs, diesel and every other thing. That one is already millions of naira on its own. 
We've not even talked about, you know, putting things together, the hair washing thing, the dryers. Some of these dryers are not children's dryer. It's not like your dryer that you buy for 30K. Some of their dryers are as high as 100 and something K. As high as 200K, depending on what brand they are using. By the time they put all these things together, we're talking more than 50 million naira gone. But in our network marketing industry, people coming with 49 990 and expect to start hitting their millions in a jiffy and then that entrepreneur who has invested over 50 million naira because they're already entrepreneurial in their thinking that's why i prefer to have entrepreneurs join my network marketing business because people who are not entrepreneurs it is difficult to work with them trust me but i'm not saying that it is it's, it's, it's not possible of course we've had a lot of people who come in and then they develop the mindset but they are very difficult to work with because they already think in like they already think like employees. Entrepreneurs already understand that they need to work day and night to make it successful. They already understand that it's, you know they have to they, they, they need to have that whatever it takes mindset. But this is not the case with a lot of MLM reps. To be successful in network marketing, you have to learn how to think and act like an entrepreneur. You must have vision. You must be mentally tough. You must be self disciplined. But how many self-disciplined people do we have in the world? Not a lot of self-disciplined people. The number two thing, number two reason why a lot of people fail. So number one reason is that a lot of people have wrong mindset, Abby. The number two is what? No skill. And they don't even want to invest in learning the skills. They come in zero skill, zero skill. And they want to become multi-millionaires. How about, are you a thief? It's only a thief that doesn't want to work. And they come into network marketing, you want to make a lot of money. You, I, don't, I really don't know the difference between you and a thief, to be honest. I don't know the difference between you and a thief. You will need to convince me that you're not a thief because you have come into network marketing to steal. So people will come in and they say, ah, after one month, nothing, I've no end. Sorry, we're not breeding thieves, we're breeding entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs understand that they need to invest time, money, skill to build their business. Let's face it, network marketing is just like any other profession. It takes a certain skill set to succeed. Very few people entering our, our industry have the right sales, leadership management, and communication skills. And not a lot of people want to invest in these things. I know how many courses I've paid for in the last two years. I know how many books I've read in network marketing. But not a lot of people are willing to do that. But yet, you want to, you open your mouth to complain. These skills must be learned. Sadly, most people who join our industry will not invest the time and money to develop these skills. There are some people that inv invitation is no longer a problem for them. Their problem is follow up. How do I follow up on people? How do I follow up on people? Because the same people that you speak to and they don't join, somebody else will speak to them and then they join the business. So what is wrong? Your skill, then develop your skill. We have a lot of books. Some of you who are new in this business, please, I beg of you, ask your leaders to give you the GoPro. Read the GoPro. Let it be at, you, at your fingertip. Cram the GoPro. Like, read, study, and study, and study that GoPro by Eric Worre. It's like, as far as I'm concerned, the Bible of network marketing. Please get that book. Another book that you must read. Some of you, they told you, just read the, you know, my first year network marketing, just read the first chapter. Please, I beg of you. If you have read the first chapter, please complete that book. That book is going to help you. Some mistakes you would have made in network marketing, you will not make such mistakes. These two books, I highly recommend. There are so many other books to instill belief. There are so many books to instill your, you know, instill belief, the right belief in this business. You don't know how to follow up. Then develop, you have a strategic time with your leader to teach you how to do follow up. Because nobody is going to build your business the way that you will build your business. I understand why some people come into the business and they're saying, um, you know, oh, my leader, my leader is not really helping me, blah, 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 blah. They take up the mantle. Take up the mantle. I remember the first one month, my first one month in this business, Ambassador Ronke was very, very helpful. I'm not even going to lie to you. All the big, um, 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 bigger, uh, not big announcement, um, um, uh, business launch I had to do, she was going from one, you know, traveling with me even. But at some point in her business, I think by the second month or so, 
she had to stop doing doing it for me because she had she had other people who were dependent on her she had raised some crazy people under her as well but guess what other leaders would have done other leaders would have been whining can you imagine my leader no longer cares about me she's just there doing big big, big you know business lunch for other people but forgetting me that is why i'm not making money the other people would have become this disgruntled but what did i do i asked her please one of my um, um, events i invited i said please just watch me and then she finished off for me at least that, that gave me the confidence first of all the fact she was there that gave me the confidence knowing my leader was there and at the time when i was done presenting she took over and then spoke and spoke and spoke, collected payments, but that gave me motivation. In fact, after the payment, I was still feeling, I, I can't remember how many payments we got, but I, I felt like that payment, I was part of making that payment. So it meant that I could handle presentation without her. And at the end of everything, she took correct, you know, she wrote down some things and then she told me, Didi, you speak so, you know, you speak so fast. Didi, you do this, you do that. You took a lot of time here. Don't spend a lot. I can remember one correction she gave me that I never miss. In fact, that's one of the things I always add for my, for, you know, whenever I'm correcting people in net, in, in, you know, for presentation, I can never forget it. Those days I used to spend so much time. I'm explaining, explaining compensation plan. I'll spend so much time explaining, bring one here, bring one there. At the end of every time, my stronger told me, just spend less time there. Trust me, that's one of the things right now. If I'm doing compensation plan, if I tell you in the next 10 minutes, I'm done with compensation plan. Actually, 10 minutes, I'll be done with my compensation plan. Where I spend time on is dream building. People don't really care about how it works. That's the truth. People don't really care. What people care about is what can I get? Is, can this business really get me this and this? Then I'm in. Once you're ready, you're, 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 you can convince them that this business can give them this and that, create that lifestyle for them. They're in. So some of the details don't really matter. So some, some of you, you spend your time giving them the details that don't matter to them. So no skill. Are you willing to learn the skills? In real world, entrepreneurs are extremely committed to developing the right skills. They attend industry events. They, they listen to tapes. They read books. They subscribe to industry publications. They belong to mastermind groups. But your leader calls you for meetings and you're not in this meeting. You're not in meetings. Some of you, this cell meeting now that you came for, you will not be, be in the cell meeting tomorrow. You will not be in the cell meeting for next, you know, that will happen next tomorrow. Your leaders have to literally hand twist you to come for these meetings. And tomorrow you want to be successful. I mean, I tell people, the people that don't, if you have people that don't come for cell meetings in your team, it's just a matter of time. They'll quit. It's the truth. Smart entrepreneurs invest in their business education because they know how vital it is to, you know, their business. One thing I believe in is no matter what you struggle in, in, in struggle with in our business, is it follow up you struggle with? There's a book that handled, handles it. Is it invitation? Go on YouTube. There's so many materials. So the thing I, I laughed about, I said I was going to share with you is anything you search for on 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 face on on sorry not on, not on Facebook on, on Google, you'll find it though. If you say why network marketing is a scam, you'll find a lot of materials that'll tell you network marketing is a scam. They are using people, they're brainwashing people, they blah 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 blah. Anything you search for in network marketing, they'll they'll give it to you. Just like if you search for um how um, um, um Dangote is a very terrible man, Kai, they'll give you plenty of material. So some people will even convince you. You even start feeling like your mother is such a terrible person. Do you understand? So anything you search for on Google, it will give it to you. Remember that there's so, so many people with opinions. Google, Google, the information you get on Google is someone like you that put it there. So if you're not an intelligent person, you also have a say on Google. So you can put out any material and somebody can search for it and find it there. I can write a material now and say, how Ambassador Ronke is such a terrible person. And then one day you type, how Ambassador Ronke is such a terrible person. It will come out, you read it. <laughs> I can write something, how Ambassador Didi is such a, is such a very terrible woman. She did this, she did that, she did this, she did this, she did this, she did this. And you can say for it, how Ambassador did, did this and did that. And it will come out. Some not so smart people have put it there and you go there and read it. And you, uh, that's why I tell people in, in, in media, for those of us that have worked in media, it's not everything we see that we publish. But it's sad that even some people in media don't even know that. Anything they just see. We can do this, they brought out the news without research, nothing. So, but as a smart person, you've done your due diligence. You now understand that network marketing works. You're already in the industry. So search for things within, you know, search for the things you want to see. Search for the things you want to see, okay? And then you get resources. There are so many network marketing leaders that are out there to help you succeed. To succeed in network marketing, you must invest in your business education. Find a mentor, attend all events, read books, stay plugged in, be a student of your business. And then finally, 
a lot of people fail in our business because they do not have leads. What do I mean by leads? They do not have numbers. They don't have people. They don't have people to share our business with. That is why a lot of people are not successful in our business. You're listening to me right now while you're querying yourself. Are you really sure I can make money in this business? I don't have people to talk to. I am sorry, you cannot make money in our business because you need leads to make money in our business. Neto marketing is a selling business. It's also a numbers game. You need an endless flow of leads. You need an endless flow of leads. You don't know how to prospect. You need to learn how to prospect. You have to go through a ton of prospects to sponsor a lot of distributors to find a few key leaders, probably 10x more people than you think you need to talk to. Yes, but the beautiful thing is that once those leaders come into your business, they'll make you forget all the stress you have had to go through. They will make you forget all the stress. Let me use um, um, Mrs. Gloria, for example, in my team. I remember when Mrs. Gloria was, um, um, you know, struggling. She was really doing a lot of radio. She had done a lot of radio, done radio, 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 radio. Invest and radio then was not, it was not small money. It's either then it was 8K. Now radio is more expensive. Then it was 8K. Thank you. 8K. Thank you. Those days she would do radio. She would invite, 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 you know, little or no sign up. Or maybe someone signs up and says they are no longer interested, blah, 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 blah. I just told her, Gloria, see, the fact that you're not getting results from this doesn't mean that you'll never get results. And I advise you, one result can help you cover up all your costs, make you forget everything. And she continued. I'm happy for her that she listened to that advice. After this advice, she did one more radio. And then that radio was where Mr. Kola came from. Mr. Kola today owns an office. He's doing very well for, for himself in this business, has raised leaders as well. Imagine that she did not do that radio. And then she was now excited to keep doing radio. That was where she got um, Mr. Damian that also joined her business. Mr. Damian is also from, you know, from, from Mr. Damian owns an office as well, which is office as well in Benway. He's doing very well in the business. So you have to go tons of prospects. You have to go through a lot of it. One person can sign up and then make you millions of naira. Make you millions of naira. Most reps in our industry or most new signups in our industry don't know how, you know, what to do after they finish um, contacting their one market. They have no written marketing plan for their business. Someone sees the opportunity. You don't know what next step to take. You start, you just be bringing, you know, talking to people, talking to people, talking to people. You don't know you should work on yourself so that you can be able to catch these people when they see your opportunity. Some of you are meeting thousands and thousands of people, but because you haven't built yourself, you don't know how to speak to them and get their numbers. Me, I've already told you guys my biggest, my the biggest one, the one that makes it easier for me. Because when I'm not in the mood or I don't really know how to, in fact, when in doubt, just say, I love making friends. Can I have your number? Just say, Oh, I love making friends. What do you do? I do this, I do that. Oh, wow, amazing. Okay. I love making friends. Can I have your number? You guys exchange contact. The person says your number, you say the person's number. From there, whatever you do with it is now left to you. You can get creative. In the real business world, all successful entrepreneurs have written business and marketing plan. They have a marketing budget. They invest money getting their business name out to people in their target market. Social media has made life a lot easier. The excuse of, I don't know people no longer sells now. I'm sorry. Social media helps you. So many people who have joined my business today, I never knew them. They came from social media. I wasn't the one that directly did the, the, the advert that brought Gloria. But Gloria today is, my, is in my network. Is my network making a lot of money in the business, but she's wait, from where? From from adverts. It wasn't online though. It was it was um, radio. I've had a lot of people who have joined my business from online. Mrs. Messi is like is like a queen of online. She has the fact eighty percent of the people who join her team are from online. Every or well, let's say seventy percent of people who join her team are from online. She doesn't joke with her online. You know, adverts, prospecting online, and all that. So the excuse of now, it's now a digital world. The excuse of, I don't know people no longer sells. So first of all, your first assignment is to do your business launch with people you know. After the people that you know, guess what? You start with people you don't know. Go online, share questionnaire, whatever method works for you. To succeed in network marketing, you must take time and money to learn how to generate leads. You must generate leads. You must generate leads. Very, very important.
Okay. So final thoughts, if you want to succeed in MLM or that's network marketing, you must transition from employee thinking to entrepreneur thinking, okay? You must master these three things, put in the work and stay consistent. You must put in the work, you must stay consistent. It's not every day you plant, I mean, as a farmer, you don't plant um, 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 corn or maize, or whatever it's called, and then every time you're putting it to check, ah, has it started sprouting? Has it started coming out? Oh, it's not coming out. You put it back again, put it back. After two days, you come again, you bring it out. Ah, it's not coming out. What is wrong? What is happening? Oh my God, it's not working. Farming is a scam. Let me go to another industry. <laughs> it will shock you. You go to another industry, you still apply the same impatience to that industry, you still fail. Before you know it, you're 40 or 50 or 60 and wondering what happens to time. No. You're the one that you're the one that was that was dripping playing with time as if you were the alpha and omega of time, as if you were the controller of time. To be able to succeed.